the night is when magic awakens. When the sun is gone and darkness shrouds the world, the moonlight begins its story. When the sea and sky are united by the color of night, the dream sprawls its wings to travel freely across its wondrous, limitless realm. And the wizards, the sages of the night, one of the reasons I adore the city so. There were times when all stars here bore a name of their own. Grand bookshelves in the libraries, Observatories spired in the night sky, paralleled in height only by the wizard's knowledge and wisdom. Cookies created by the wizards gained a shining purpose to serve their creators as aids in the search of truth. Yet, all is now nothing more than echoes of the past. When I close my eyes, my memories take me to a time when I wasn't alone, and those long gone are back as though they have never left. Is this but a dream? Or am I awake now? Will they return if I wait long enough? My name is Moonlight Cookie, the custodian of the City of Wizards. Who goes there? Who? Are you too an apparition of my dreams? Or perhaps... This place is... Precisely! Not a single cookie in sight! The whole place is running on magical contraptions! The great magical civilization and all the wizards, poof, gone. They call it one of the seven mysteries of Earthbread. We've finally arrived at the legendary city of wizards. Huh, who would have known we'd have to get kicked out of a train for that? I like the train. It brought us all the way here. Right. Remind me to thank Milky Way Cookie if we ever see her again. Huh. <sighs> the moon looks so big here. Is that because the whole city is so empty? According to the Annals of Magic, this place was chosen by the wizards because this is where the moon is the biggest, meaning that its arcane powers are the strongest here. It took several dozens of mathematicians to calculate this sweet spot, but thanks to their efforts, we can read at night without the need for any candles or lights. Whoa! Does it mean that even the starry sky is a part of this place? The City of Wizards is even cooler than I thought! for a while now, and I don't think they want to become friends. They are the wizard's inventions, crafted to resemble the stars. To them, we are trespassers. Better be on our guard. They're after us! Out of my we way! Shall escape. this! I will not falter! We shall Shame. this! Escape this. I will not falter! I knew you could do it! We come in peace! It's impolite to attack your guests! Mm, 
we don't have anything to prove that. If only we could meet Moonlight Cookie first. Right! We must hurry up and find Moonlight Cookie! Out of my we way! Shall I will not falter! Escape this! I will revenge. not falter! Shines! Out of my way! Is everyone safe and sound? Escape this! My dream of victory came true. My, my, would you look at this sight! Do you see anything? Come up here! You can see the whole city from this hill! Whoa! I can't believe there's no one left in this place. If it were up to me, I'd call it the City of Night Sky. Hmm. And if it were up to me, the City of the Crescent. Look! All the way over there! The statues we passed on our way here! Is that where we took the train? Seems so! How do we manage to cross the dream to get here? Wait a minute. We were walking in circles around the statues, then we, um, ended up at the train station? The more you think about it, the weirder it gets. Perhaps that's the nature of the dream. The power of the slumbering moon makes it all possible. After all, Moonlight Cookie is the master of dream magic. Over there! Moonlight Cookie! She's asleep. I almost hate to wake her up. The moon is so bright and pretty. Why does she look so sad? She must feel so lonely watching over the city all by herself. Think how long she must have been waiting for us. Well, not that long, if you think of it. After all, she must have lived for much, much longer than us. But... but... And it is said that while Moonlight Cookie is asleep, no force can harm the Realm of Dreams. Her power is way too great for an ordinary cookie. And that's why we need her help. But Moonlight Cookie herself asked for our help. There's got to be something we can do for her. Though, how do we wake her up? Hmm. There have got to be hints somewhere in this great city. Looks like we have our mission! Out of my way! Escape this! We shall prevail! Shines! We shall prevail! No way we would have lost! Out of my we way! We shall prevail! Yes, yeah. We shall Out of my prevail. way! This good? Out of my way! Yes, yeah. shines! We shall prevail! 
escape this! We shall prevail! Remember who defeated you in battle! <laughs> By my hat! Not even in my wildest dreams did I imagine visiting the Arcane Planetarium! Plan... Uh, terium? An artificially crafted model of the night sky. The wizards did love their stars, huh? Crafted night sky? What does this even mean? You'll understand once you see it with your own eyes. Let's hurry and get inside! Oh, wait up! These stairs are too tall! I will not falter! We shall reverse! Escape this! Mm. This good? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Whoa! <laughs> I don't even know the words to describe this. A sky within the city. And there's giant balls floating in that sky. They look like they'll crash into each other, but they don't. What in the world? Ahem. <clears throat> Those giant balls represent stars in the sky. While they might look like tiny dots to us, they actually look like that. Or so they say. These stars are created to look exactly like the real ones. And it's all powered with intricate magic spells. And just like trains, each star in the sky travels along its very own invisible road. That's why they never crash into each other. How, how do you know all that, Wizard Cookie? Well, I've read about it in my books, but enough talk. I am super psyched to see it with my own eyes! <laughs> I could try and make one sphere float in the air, but the wizards created this whole place! And to think that these spheres have been floating here all this time without a single error! It is said that wizards and stars always go hand in hand. Here you understand why. The wizards of old were crazy about the sky. Do you know which star is my favorite? The star called Chaco Major, over there, that always shines so bright. Gorgeous, isn't it? Wow, it really is big and bright. And what are these pictures here? These are called constellations. Have you ever noticed how some groups of stars look just like animals or objects? Oh, this one is Jelly, that one is Cake Hound, and over there is Sugar Swan's son. Ah, so pretty. I love this place. Look, another cinema. Let's climb on that chair and watch the movie. For eons, the wizards and witches relied upon the powers of the moon, an everlasting source of arcane energy. But what is it that makes the moon so special? Some theorists claim the moon is constituted of cheese. Others speculate that the connection with the enigmatic rabbit was finally established. Here, in the city of wizards, we step beyond tenets and theories to reveal the true potential of lunar magic. We bake cookies. Nothing is impossible in the realm of dreams. It is a well-known fact. Ergo, at the intersection of the night, the moon, and the dream, magic unbound by all limits is born. The Twelve Archmages' work has finally borne fruit. Now, 
the pristine life syrup, and the dough of the dreams shall rest and dream until dawn, absorbing the mysterious lights of the night sky. The whole world stands still in anticipation of the first cookie blessed with ingredients of celestial bodies. Will the world of dreams at long last reveal its secrets? The only being capable of providing an answer is the moon reborn in the form of a cookie. You shall journey through the world we dare not explore. Now, the time to open your eyes has come. Exploring the world of dreams? Does this mean a cookie like me can travel inside Ginger Brave's head? Huh? Whoa! We could meet and play there. But are dreams meant to be shared? What if the wizard cookie from my dreams isn't the real wizard cookie? Oh, I think I'm getting a headache. I wonder what happened to that cookie. Escape this! We shall out of my way! Chains. Escape this! Is everyone safe and sound? Escape this! Yeah. Out of my wings! The stars are singing of our victory! Escape this! Out of my chains! Ha! No way we would have lost! Escape this! Shames! I take my leave. Light. Another magical spell? Huh. Maybe it's a big gemstone. Or... Or a glowing fountain. I... I want to get closer. It's just as bright as the light of the moon! I feel like I need to move closer. Let's go! seen anything like that maybe it's the moon's creation see the gentle moonlight is lighting up the whole place I vaguely remember reading about it it's 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 the remembrance glass 
The wizards knew how to imbue stained sugar glass with memories. Perhaps this is the place where it happened. I thought it was a place bigger than this one. Hold on! These paintings! Is this the city of wizards? Then this one must be Moonlight Cookie herself! Whoa! Look at those colorful glass flowers! Let's go take a closer look! Oh! Wielding the might of moonlight energy, we can finally leave the days when we used to brew love potions in the past. With it, we can light up the whole city. And more, the Lunar Dynamo will allow us to cook food, move carts, and power clock towers without even touching them. Solar power is too unpredictable, too unstable. It burns and corrupts the cookie dough. The power of the dreaming moon, however... Whoa! Oh, I just experienced a rush of someone's memories. The wizard's thoughts and memories. Let's see what recollections these flowers hold. Out of my we way! shall prevail. Escape this! We shall I will not falter! Oh, harrowing misfortune it is to realize ours is the only star inhabited by thinking creatures such as ourselves among all the stars in the vast cosmos. The sun burning hotter than volcanic lava, the moon colder than the coldest ice, the power of the stars is greater than that of an arch wizard, for the stars are the fount of the arcane. Welcome to this world, Moonlight Cookie. You are the blessing granted by the stars to us, the seekers of truth. This is Moonlight Cookie's memory. The cookie that the wizards created was Moonlight Cookie herself. Shh, 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 be quiet. Your powers will become the bridge to connect us to the realm of the unknown. Will you help us in our research of lunar power? These are the materials brought by Moonlight Cookie from the World of Dreams. Now we will finally be able to correct the mistakes in our magical formulas. The Cookie managed to identify the laws of celestial mechanics with utmost precision. It will allow us to build a great planetarium in the sky above our city. Let us build a great clock tower to control the very movements of the stars and the flow of time. Just like the great world tree from the myths, our clock tower will become the pillar to bind our city together even after the last of the wizards is gone. Did you hear that? A clock tower to control the flow of time, huh? Like two sides of a coin, Moonlight Cookie and the clock tower will draw upon each other's power. The full moon will rise, the bell will ring, and the dream will come alive. Let's celebrate our victory! Another piece of this puzzle falls into place. Perhaps the clock tower can awaken Moonlight Cookie. We still need to gather more clues. Let's check over there. Out of my we way! Shall prevail. We shall Take this! Shames! I will not Out falter! Huh. That watering can. And the shovel. They were crafted for a cookie to handle. Looks like a cookie used to take care of this conservatorium. Hey, look! This pot has just one flower growing in it. It's small, but so pretty and ornate. God, 
gotta be someone's special memory. Can I take a look? Hey, hey, we gotta hurry! Wait! I have but one last thing left to do. Uh, greetings! My name is Sugar Glass Cookie. If you touch this memory, it means... It means that you have found my flower. I must leave this place. Yet, when the other cookie arrives, I'd like you to know that I have waited for so long that you are not alone. How did they manage to take care of this beautiful place all by themselves? Let's take this flower with us. Something tells me that Moonlight Cookie will like it. My dream of victory came true. What a place! Greenhouse made of memories. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd have never believed it. I've been thinking. If we live on a giant star, and there are other stars like this one, lots and lots of other stars, it's kind of terrifying, don't you think? What if we cookies are no more than part of someone's imagination? <laughs> Yikes! What are you saying? It's not easy being that smart. I will not falter! Take that, you zombies! I will not falter! Take that, you zombies! I will not falter! I will not falter! Big ol' softies! Out of my we way! Escape this! Yeah. Shinies! I will not falter! We Escape this! Revenge. Get shiny. We learned so much back at the planetarium and greenhouse, but we still have no clue how to wake Moonlight Cookie up. We are close, very close, I'm sure of it. Our next stop should be the Archives of Magic. That's where the wizards kept all their secrets. Whoa, I wonder what awaits us inside. A book about a whole planet made of jellies? Or, or about cookies from outer space? A recipe for the potion of sweet dreams? I love your ideas, but what I'd really like to find is the spell to travel through time. Does that have anything to do with stars? It's just a mere theory of mine, but I think if we run so fast that even the light itself won't be able to catch up with us, then we'll be able to make time flow in the opposite direction. Is that even possible? <laughs> You've been saying lots of odd things today, Wizard Cookie. Who knows? Who knows? Anywho, let's make haste! Those golden stars again! Hide! Oh, they're gonna find us! Quick, come this way!
Gingerbrave, wait! It's a dead end! Huh? Ah! Ah! Gingerbrave! Wizard Cookie! Don't go without me! Comfortable landing. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry about that. It's all my fault. I'm glad that we didn't split up. We have a bigger problem. This little detour took us off our path. Where on earth bread are we? Look! A sign! Silence! Do not wake the dwellers of the graveyard of stars. Graveyard of Stars? This looks like a headstone. Wandering Star A19. Lost its orbit due to the operator's chronically shaking hands and put to sleep with its 18 siblings. Here's another one! The name's erased. Outdated formula, disposed with the release of the amended version of Standard Magic. What kind of headstone is that? Beak's reason seemed so petty. Does A19 mean it was the 19th? They created and got rid of 19 stars because some wizard's hands were shaky? You don't understand. When it comes to incantations, even the smallest miscalculation can lead to catastrophe. Can it really? I also think they were a bit too harsh. We shall prevail. Ah! What are those golden stars? That one is huge. Prepare for battle. If they get us, we're crumbs! Everyone, be careful! I will not falter! I will not falter! We shall prevail! Take that, you zombies! Biggest one down. That wasn't easy at all. My dream of victory came true. This! We shall prevail! I will not falter! We In shall prevail! Out of my chains! Ha! <laughs> no way we would have lost! happening? The legendary archives of magic! Just look! 
look at this magnificent edifice! I already feel wiser just by standing here by the gates! Wow! It's big indeed! Oh! <sighs> Ginger Brave! Huh? What? What? I... um... I just imagined a very scary thing! If the wizards had to go through so many stars just to make that last giant one, what would have happened had they decided to make a Ginger Brave? So I imagined a graveyard filled with lots of abandoned Ginger Braves! Yikes! Don't you have anything better to think about? You literally have this gorgeous library in front of your eyes! Yeah, yeah. You're right as always, Risk Cookie. <laughs> Anyways, the secrets of the archives await. Let's march inside, my friends. Out of my way! I will not falter! We I will not take falter! approaching! I will we not shall. falter! Approaching. Take that, you selfies! Out of my way! Winter is approaching! I will not falter! <sighs> There's no better way to seek out the truth than a library. This one here might be the greatest library on the entire continent. It would have been a shame to miss this place. I'm ready to check each and every nook and cranny here. Wow, this library is really big. They must have books on everything in the world. Mm, should we split up? Good idea. I'll check the picture books here. There's got to be at least one I can understand. <laughs> These are not just pictures. It's mathematics. The science trying to explain the world in numbers and figures. See? It shows how to divide an apple pie into seven equal parts. With this book, seven wizards will be able to enjoy their pie in peace. Such a lucky find, Ginger Brave. The witch's books don't have anything like that. Why? What's so different about them? The wizards thought that precision paves the path to the truth. They tried to communicate ideas as accurately as possible. See that shelf with lots of giant tomes and quills? That's how hard they worked to achieve the perfect preciseness. And the witches expressing themselves through songs and dancing, I think. There's books on various magical appliances here. Look, this one explains how to make the best magic wand. Use measuring tape. Measure length from elbow to third finger second knuckle? Important. The wood must be... Do you really need to know all that? Oh, those are just the basics every wizard needs to know. You won't become a wizard with that attitude of yours, Ginger Brave. Maybe you should try... singing? I've never said I wanted to become a wizard. I'm not a wizard. I'm a cookie. Still hearts, so you fell in love with an emotionless cookie? Uh, drawing without errors perfect magic circles, 27 ways to grow taller. Huh. Say what? What was that last one? Ah! It, it moved! First time seeing moving letters? <laughs> Ancient wizards used to make letters move quite often. No, not the letters! It's a bookworm! Ah, and, and it bites! Ain't no one gonna ask about losing. I've seen those gnawing on old books, but to snack on a valuable magic tome? Unforgivable! Oh, it must have eaten a lot of magic energy. Let's just be more careful with those books. Whew, this magic library is a dangerous place. Huh? What's that? That book looks... important. The Lunar Compendium, huh? Straight to the point. That's precisely what we needed. Please treat the books with care. Ah! Oh, 
Who, who are you? Blueberry Pie Cookie, Librarian. And you are? And you are? These archives have been abandoned for a long, long time. We came on a dream train in search of Moonlight Cookie. Then you are her guests. Hmm. We didn't realize there were other cookies in the city. The entire city of wizards looked completely empty. Are you a prisoner here? The wizard's prisoner? No. I'm not a prisoner. I merely signed a pact. My duty is to sort the books, keep them in order, and keep a watchful eye on everything happening within these walls. Such work requires a lot of time. Don't you ever wish you could do something else? Take a walk outside, for example. I'm not too fond of all the air and sunlight. Besides, the knowledge preserved here knows no bounds. This one, for example, the Lunar Compendium, a tome of great value. It was written a century before the Great Clock Tower was built. All written records of that era remain intact to this day. As you may have guessed, they are all contained in this very book. Yet, I would advise against opening it. The book is known to test cookies who dare read it. For such is the will of the clock tower protecting this city. But we've come all this way here! We're ready for any test this book might dish out. that I underestimated you. You possess great wisdom and courage. The Lunar Compendium has deemed you worthy. I, I love this book! So much information inside! Just listen, the wizards actually managed to build it! The clock tower to control the night sky! This tower doesn't simply show the time, it CONTROLS time in this city! But there's more! It also controls the position of the sun, the moon, and the constellations! That must be the magical clock we saw in Moonlight Cookie's memories! Which means... we have to climb the tower and move the clock's hands! That must be it! That should wake Moonlight Cookie! If only the moon was full tonight! Gingerbread, you're right! That must be the answer! The book says that the hands cannot be moved by just anyone, but there is a way to do that. Looks like we have to solve a riddle? I'm gonna read it. Three wizards cut the pie of time. Three pieces, fair and just. A piece of sun, a piece of moon, a piece for all the stars. And soon the reel of stars turned thrice. Crescent met its half. Let Chaco Major guide your way. The moonlight feet will start. Uh, let me write that down. Uh, sun, moon, uh, come again? Wh what kind of riddle is that? I didn't understand a thing. Maybe the wizards want to test us. 
In order to use the clock tower, you have to be this smart. Phew! <laughs> we can do it! We can! Thank you, Blueberry Pie Cookie. With your help, we'll find a way to wake Moonlight Cookie. Oh, or maybe you want to go meet Moonlight Cookie with us? Lady Moonlight Cookie. Who would have known we were destined to become the last cookies to guard this place? I remember the times of old. The wizards would select the dough imbued with the finest, purest moonlight and create cookies to preserve their knowledge forever. I am forbidden to leave this place, and I dare not ask for an audience with Lady Moonlight Cookie. Sometimes, I see a faint ray of moonlight coming through this small window. For me, that ray of light is... Hmm... Farewell. Goodbye! Hmm... There is something I failed to mention. A collection of personal notes left by the same author has been kept here, in the library. This journal describes the dark, unknown parts of the wizard's research. It has been kept in the shadows of the most remote section away from prying eyes. Will it ever see the light of day, I wonder? But, for now, may the gentle moonlight embrace this city.
We shall prevail! I will not falter! Shoes! We shall prevail! We're almost there! Let's hurry! I'm going at my max speed! Prepare to face the consequences. Out of my way! Escape this! I will not falter! Take this! Let's celebrate our victory! <sighs> we made it! Now all we need to do is climb to the top! Wizard Cookie, come on! I'm running! Can't you see I'm running? There's someone at the gates! Only the wise are allowed in the clock chamber. Let the night sky guide your way. Only the strong and the brave may ascend to the top. Uh, do we need your permission to pass? Hmm. <laughs> Why did the wizards like Tess so much? Tell us more about the trials. Heed my question. An ingredient of great value is required to fashion a magic wand that will reveal a cookie wizard's true potential. What is it? Easy peasy. It's a sugar crystal, of course. Wizard, you have acquired my permission to enter the clock tower. How do you like that? Well done, Wizard Cookie! Heed my question. A fiery star has risen in the sky west from here. Oh, are you asking me? Uh, um, Moonlight Cookie herself pleaded for help. Maybe uh, danger is growing closer. You may proceed, Seeker of the Moon. But beware of what lies ahead. Oh, I must have guessed right. Looks like the last test is for me. I'm the brave one here, right? Ooh, what will it be? I shall test your courage. To arms! I was afraid it would come to violence. Never a dull moment! Out of my way! <laughs> Take this! Out of my way! Escape this! I will not falter! Are we finished here? Cookie's brave and strong! You have my permission to enter the clock tower! Was the fighting really necessary? Moonlight Cookie, we're coming! Wait just a bit more! Who goes there? We came to wake Moonlight Cookie! And we must turn the clock's hands. Can you let us pass? The clocks show the correct time. Perfectly correct! Cookies must leave! Out of my way! Escape this! I will not falter! Escape this! Out of my way! But we 
really must ring that bell. Wizard Cookie, we'll take it from here. You go upstairs and solve the riddle. I can do that. Chamber. Aha! There are pictures of the sun, the moon, and the stars at the ends of those three clock hands. You might be right, but what do they have to do with pies? Uh, hmm. The pie of time. Pies are usually round, right? What if the pie is the face of the clock itself? Good thinking, Strawberry Cookie. I'll try to divide it into three parts. Uh, Ginger Brave, don't forget. You always cut the biggest piece for yourself. The riddle says that the parts must be fair, equal. Let me try. There are 12 numbers. Divide by three, four numbers per wizard. Let's move the sun hand to 12, the moon to 4, and the star to 8. See? Perfectly equal. Whoa, good job, Wizard Cookie. From now on, I'll let you cut all our pies. Now, the reel of stars. Turn thrice. Stars, constellations. Maybe it's that dial. There are constellations inscribed all over it. Let's try and turn it three times. I think you're right. And that crescent-shaped thing over there... How do we make it meet its second half? Is there even a second half? Look! The second half is over there, on the opposite side. We could push them to make them meet, I think. Yes! It worked! Good job, friends. We're almost there. We only have to find that Choco Major now. Out of my way! Escape this! Escape this! Shoes. What to do? Eureka! There! Point the biggest hand at that star, Ginger Brave. All right, I can do that. Yes, yes, we did it! The clock is glowing. Moonlight Cookie and the City of Wizards is waking up. It's like the universe meeting a new dawn. Moonlight Cookie, it's us. Ginger Brave, Strawberry Cookie, Wizard Cookie. At last we meet. 
you helped me cross the vast realm of dreams. Even in my slumbers, I knew you would come find me. On behalf of all the wizards, I, Moonlight Cookie, thank you. It's a great honor to meet you. Thank you for inviting us here. Y yes I'm happy to meet you, too. No, it's us who are thankful. We saw so many amazing things on our way here. Mm -hmm. My friends, it would have been an immense pleasure for me to show you this city, my home. But the moon has hidden behind a cloud, and the stars send us an anxious warning. It may so happen that time is against us. What are you saying? I have seen it in my dreams. A vision not of our past, but of our future. shooting star to make a wish wait is it about to fall right here yes the city of wizards is in great danger and though my powers will be enough to stop it I cannot help but feel like something is amiss moonlight cookie did you call us here because you knew it would happen I only saw a glimpse a premonition of a coming calamity. Terrible, yet faintly familiar. I don't understand. Huh? Look! Is, is that a cookie? You're right! Right there! The bright blue star! This is... Is this it? The City of Wizards. In my imagination, it looked different. Wizards. There are none to be seen. You, the cookie who descended with a rain of falling stars. The wizards who created me left eons ago. I am the lone custodian of this abandoned city. Did you come in search of the wizards? What is your name? They call me Stardust Cookie. I was born from the coalesced light of thousands of nameless stars the very breath of the cosmos. At first, I thought that my birth was a mere coincidence. Then the stars whispered to me. They told me that the matter of my dough came from here. From here? Stardust Cookie! Please, stop the stars from raining down on us! You'll destroy the city! These stars do not follow my will. They merely follow me to their what? A cookie born from the light of nameless stars. Are you? Moonlight cookie, 
did the wizards create him too? Oh! Blueberry Pie Cookie tried to warn us! The wizards must have discarded the dough of nameless stars in their attempts to create Moonlight Cookie from the purest moonlight! It was... Stardust Cookie! I understand now. For them, I was an impurity. A loose unknown in their equation. They banished my dough into space, and there, instinctively, it swam towards the sheltering starlight. So long ago, I barely recall. I had already changed by the time I reached the Sugar Swan constellation. I gained awareness of my cookie nature. With time, wandering stardust completed my shape, and the suns heated my frozen, lifeless dough. I sensed it through my dreams. I watched how your features grew tangible with time. I traveled across the dreams of countless cookies and wizards. Yet I've never seen anything quite like yourself. The enigma that you were haunted me. It made me feel as if my knowledge was a lie. But now I see it clearly. I am this city. We both had an unseen dark side. May I ask, why did you bring the stars with you to fall upon this place? It seems that we belong together. You may refuse to show it, but I can sense your struggle. The fear and hatred you harbor towards me. Why? I did not even know of your existence. And these stars are playthings unwanted, thrown away by the wizards. In the vast cosmos, they wandered aimlessly. Now it is the time for them to return to their birthplace's embrace. It is my time to return. Heed my words, wizards! For you have wronged us all! Like a calm shore that turns into a mighty tide, you came to wash away this city. Unforeseen by even the wisest. Yes. Even the wizard's knowledge had its limits. Please understand. Their fascination with the night sky was pure. Their passion for knowledge had no ill intentions. And still, we stand as an example of their cruelty. Forsaken and discarded by our own creators. Like the city. Like yourself. In whom they took such pride. Ah, uh, no more. Your words hurt like the terror of nightmares. Moonlight Cookie, don't give in. Don't forget how strong you are. My heart is yearning, yearning to meet them, to ask a question, even for but a brief moment. I trust them. Therefore, I must protect this city to keep custody of their seat of power until the day of their return. Let this city dream, dream of victory. Do you wish to fight? Knowing that space itself is immeasurably greater than you. And this, the full might of the countless bright stars. Out of my way! Escape this! Escape this! Out of my way! I will not falter! <gasps> I can't wait for the next parade!
What should we do? The city's defenses are getting weaker. Even the lights are flickering. And the golden stars look all confused. Because of Stardust Cookie, Moonlight Cookie's dream is getting unstable. I don't think we can help it. He will destroy the city. We need to escape now! No, we can't let that happen. We must protect Moonlight Cookie. What about the archives? I'm worried about Blueberry Pie Cookie. <sighs> Moonlight Cookie, you can do it. Please hold on a bit longer. We must help Blueberry Pie Cookie. Be careful, Ginger Brave. Ah! Oh, you. What are you doing? You're supposed to protect the library. What's going on? I think it thinks we're the baddies. I have a bad feeling about this. Wizard stars, please stop your doomward march. The star too must be sad to see its home destroyed. I, I feel conflicted. The star should welcome our return, yet it is in dismay. Is there really no place for us here? Stardust Cookie, it's time to stop. We understand you're angry and all, but there's no need to destroy the entire city. If you continue, you will harm Moonlight Cookie. Yes. This sight pains me too. I shall wipe this city clean, erasing all remaining memories of its denizens. Yes! Finally you understand- oh, wait, what? Do you even hear yourself? Everything is filled with sorrow. The lonely cries of the stars, and moonlight cookies' unseen tears. <laughs> A custodian watching over an empty city. How many years have you spent in solitude? Can you even count those timeless years? The wizards are nowhere to be seen, and they will never be seen again. I shall bring this all to ruins. All to set you free! Strength. You don't understand! Moonlight Cookie loves this place! As a wizard myself, I'll fight to protect this place! Let's go, my friends! Moonlight Cookie, are you all right? The city of wizards. Their cherished city lies in ruins. Such strength. That's enough! It's over! Stop burning yourself out! Stardust Cookie, you're hurt. 
You've nearly destroyed the city, and yourself, too. <coughs> Pain. Is that what it's called? I do not know the concept of pain. I am the embodiment of sorrow. For it is all I know. Sorrow and the cosmic void. My fate is to return to dust. That is how the stars go. The star gives a warning. It senses its nearing end. Leave this place. When a lonely star's lifetime reaches its end, nothing can survive a supernova. Lifetime? What are you saying? When the loneliness becomes unbearable, the star begins to shrink and shrivel. It calls to other stars, to no avail, and in the end, it turns into an all-consuming void. Other stars call it the Dark Vortex. Dark Vortex? I cannot let it happen. There is always a way. Even the darkest night is illuminated by the starlight. Still fly away, escape this place, or should I finally give up? Perhaps my lifelong journey should end here. My birthplace is no more, and there is nowhere to return nor go. All this is no different from the cold void of space. Yes, the time has come. Sugar Swan Constellation? How? Lady Moonlight Cookie once said, In this city, dreams know no limits. Oh. Before the very end, you fell asleep. And now you are dreaming of the moment your life began. For the end and the beginning always go hand in hand. Who... Who are you? I am a creation of the wizards, just like yourself. Blueberry Pie Cookie, the caretaker of the archives. I am the last of the librarians, and it is my duty to guide you to a book that has been awaiting you. This book is called A Wizard's Journal. On its pages, you will find the records of your creation. I wish you a pleasant reading. A journal of my creator? I do not wish to know. <clears throat> For a full lunar cycle, we have been working hard to collect moonlight at the tallest observatory. It still radiates with magic. The cookie to be born from it will become a legend. After a thorough magiscope examination, we managed to identify a minute fraction of nameless starlight resting quietly within the dome. 
How is this possible? I've come to the conclusion that these nameless stars manage to hide between the phases of the waning and waxing crescents. What a cruel yet deserved joke from our beloved night sky. Countless stars shine in the darkness of a moonless night. This will grant our moonlight cookie immense yet unstable powers. No one must know of this error. What should I do? Perhaps I should leave this tiny speck to the judgment of the arch wizards. Or perhaps I should return it to the cosmic depths, where possibility and chance will shape it into something wonderful. Something beyond imagination itself. Possibility. Chance. Beautifully said. Beyond my creator's imagination. Up! Phew! He woke up! Stardust Cookie, are you alright? Stardust Cookie! Another dream? What a strange place. What happened to me? My powers allow me to travel between dreams. The wizards used to call this phenomenon the Cosmic Tunnel, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> you can enter one dream and come out of another. I think you... You fell asleep and entered Moonlight Cookie's dream. <laughs> At least my explanation was scientific. One way or another, you saved me. Me, who wrought this upon your city. Each dream holds its own truth. I dreamed of this city that forgot about the catastrophe it created. Perhaps too late, I understood. The frightful premonition imprinted on my dreams. It was meant for me, who could not see the dark side of the moon. For me, whose duty was to safeguard the wizard's knowledge, catastrophic was not your arrival, but my refusal to see the truth. And still, it pains me greatly to see the city ruined. What is now left for us? Abandoned and forlorn. All right! The memory flower! Where is it? Sugar Glass Cookie's message! We, we, we wanted you to see it. Hmm? Sugar Glass Cookie? Uh, I'm so sorry! I... I think I lost the memory flower. Oh, are you sure? What, what should we do, Wizard Cookie? Are you speaking of this? I noticed its faint yet mesmerizing glint back in the void of the dark vortex. Take it. It is yours. No, no! Th this message is meant for you! Both of you! For Moonlight Cookie... and me? Greetings! My name is Sugar Glass Cookie. If you touch this memory, it means... It means that you have found my flower. I must leave this place. Yet, when the other cookie arrives, I'd like you to know that I have waited for so long that you are not alone. How I wish to meet you face to face. But the outside world beckons me. It's all thanks to Amber Sugar Cookie and our friends. Do you know... Do you know why the wizards made us like this? This thought did not make room for others in my mind for so long. But then I met new friends, new memories, and it all became clear. So many flowers bloom in my greenhouse, and every one of them is beautiful, precious in its own way. What if for someone, we too... May I leave one very special flower here for you? 
It has my first memory of seeing the sunlight. This precious flower will remain here until you find it. Sugar glass cookie, I'm leaving without you. Just a moment. Goodbye, my friends. I hope to meet you in the outside world. How could I forget? How could I forget how precious all the stars were to me? Even though someone else's eye might not see the difference. And the moonlight illuminates these streets with such warm light. I did not know I had a friend here. In the end, my arrival was not in vain. Drifting in the emptiness of space, it is so easy to feel loneliness. Ages may pass, but eventually starlight reaches everywhere. Every one of us. I am the living proof. Yes, I had forgotten too. For I was lonely for so long. I did not realize that we belonged together. Will you ever forgive me for the destruction of this city? And if you are willing, I would love to visit Sugar Glass Cookie's greenhouse together. I forgive you, Stardust Cookie, for I am also so, so sorry that you had to spend an eternity alone. Huh? They're holding hands, and there's light coming from them. It's so bright. Is this a dream revived? The stars and the moonlight are together once again. It's the birth of a new power! Ah, oh, the bright full moon speaks to me. Just like the moon sets and rises again, a new hope will be found among the ashes. are just coming back to life. How beautiful. Oh my cookie. That is amazing. How can all this be possible? I understand it now. The whole city was my dream. I should have asked this earlier, but what's your dream, Stardust Cookie? My dream? Yes. Voyaging across space freely. Perhaps I will find the wizards who created me among the countless stars. Among the countless stars? I, I can't wrap my head around that. You amaze me, Stardust Cookie. No. You are my star. <laughs> Thank you. I am happy to have found you. Cookies of free will. Will we ever meet again? I do not know. But I will cherish this memory forever in my heart. Choo-choo! The Western Sky Express is departing. Get on if you want! Yes! How fortunate! This time I shall travel toward the rising moon. What lies at the end of the western sky, Conductor? Um, well... They call it the Cosmic Tideland. You know, tiny galaxies jumping around and dancing to and fro. If you're a first-timer, I recommend the Whipped Cream Galaxy. Cross the whipped cream sea on a fallen leaf boat to enter another world. Or something like that. And it sounds like a plan. Stay safe, cookies. I will let you know if I ever find the wizards. The train's departing! All aboard! Fasten 
your seatbelts, folks. Choo! What a cookie! Didn't even hesitate a second. Maybe Stardust Cookie was born to travel space. Or maybe he wandered for so long, meeting us felt no longer than a moment. Safe travel, Stardust Cookie. I'll think of you whenever I look at the stars. Whoa! So much happened! <laughs> Finally, we can talk! I know of the message you brought me, Cookies. I felt the ripples in my dream. Winds of change are blowing our way. I have also seen cookies all around the world gathering forces. Yes, that's right. Thing is... We need your help to fight Dark Enchantress Cookie. We've seen how powerful you are today. Moonlight Cookie, together we will win. But we'll need to find other legendary cookies too. I understand. My strength is yours. I can see it now. The stars above the continent of Beast East have turned crimson. I have yet to witness the dreams of Dark Enchantress Cookie, but I will not let any harm come your way. Have no fear. Awesome! <laughs> Thanks, Moonlight Cookie! Moonlight Cookie, are you going to return to the World of Dreams? Yes. I've used much of my strength to restore the city. Now, the dreams are beckoning me. My friends, you'll always be welcome in this city. When in need of help, call me from your dreams. Goodbye, Moonlight Cookie. I'll see you in my dreams. Something troubling you, Ginger Brave? At first, I thought how cool the wizards were. But after meeting Stardust Cookie, I don't know what to think. We escaped from the witch because we didn't want to be eaten, right? And now we live happily, freely, however we want. Well, yeah. It also got me thinking. For someone looking down on us from the stars, we are nothing but dust. Even smaller than dust. Everything in this city was so... Tall and big. It reminded me of the witch's hut. But the sky was too far and wide, even for the human wizards. It had to be. So when I look at it now, I forget that I'm just a tiny cookie wizard. And if only for a brief moment, I feel like I belong in this city. Maybe that's why the cookies born here felt so close to the humans who created them. Here's what I think. They tried so hard to understand each other, right? Maybe that's why they both fell in love with the night sky. That's... beautifully poetic. 